So I did not forget about you guys about the sermon today. Church was really, really good. I just finished filming and let me just see if I can wing this off the top of my head. One of the things I really liked that the pastor talked about was how Jesus not only had his words, but he had his works. So with that being said, his word was credible. And a lot of people these days, they may say one thing and there are no works behind their word. So that was the first thing that I really, really like. Because ooh, people nowadays, they just be saying any old thing. They never follow up. It's like they'll say something to you. And then if you bring it up a week later, they're like, oh, you remember that? You remember? I'm like, does, it, does your words not matter? It's so crazy how people just throw their words away as if it's nothing and how they say the power of life and death lies in the tongue it surely does so your words do matter and you know what let me um let me do this good for you guys i need to go upstairs and get my notebook because i had a long day it's been a lot of lines to remember a lot of stuff going on you guys are going to really enjoy the new country wayne videos yeah i'm excited for you guys to see them the story continues it's getting crazy and lastly i need to um i'm about to cuss mike out because i put this outfit together thinking we had one more to do but they said nah next time so y'all gonna have to see this outfit again super sexy right it's like a little asian dress yep this part was really good too he mentioned that when you plug in that's when you're connected to the word right plug in via social media um television your cell phone and when you unplug that's essentially when you are talking and connecting to god and it's multiple times in the bible where jesus went away he went to pray on a mountain that quiet time is very important to yeah just really get yourself together not only to pray but to hear the holy spirit god will speak to you so it is necessary to make sure you unplug and also to make it part of your daily routine. So I pray in the morning. I also pray at night. I pray throughout the day, which is just essentially talking to God. It doesn't have to be anything formal. It could be a little anything. I'm like, oh, thank you, God, for this. Or, oh, Father, please help me get through this because such and such, such and such, like, let this go easy or whatever it may be. And that would be praying throughout the day. Also reading. As I mentioned before, I read a daily devotional um, in the morning as well as at nighttime. And then I also make time to read the Bible as well. Oh, there's this really good girl. Her name is Chantel. She's on Chantel e Kebab. Anyway, she's on YouTube. I actually do morning prayer with her. She does it Monday through Friday on YouTube. So next time I do it, I will post the link. I really, really like her. It's crazy because I be doing prayer with her and sometimes she'll be like, such and such will happen in 24 hours. Yo. When we be doing those prayers, it happens almost every single time. It's like crazy, but it's not. Yeah, so let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Yeah, man, I had like, um, I got a lot of good notes today. I really need to go over all of them. Oh, and then one thing is, is like how you can tell people scripture over and over. They can see that things work and they are not going to believe the Bible or follow Jesus because it's he who draws them. It doesn't matter what you say or do. Or This is another really good one. So your life, your time, and your resources are seeds that you sow. And in the parable, so before in the Old Testament, everything was by law. And then when Jesus came, he started speaking directly. And then he later changed it to parables. And only God's children understand the parables. He wrote it like that for a reason. And yeah, when he talks about like the seed that's sown, like one falls like into the rocky ground so it has no root. Or one falls off the pathway where the birds eat it. And then there was another one. Basically, he's saying it matters where you are. It matters where you're sowing your seeds time, energy, all those things. Some people act like money is everything. And actually, money is a little part of things. Your time and energy, you cannot get back. So make sure you are spending your seeds in place of value.